Oh. Hey, welcome to another video review. This time, Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation. It's Swift and Flash. Well, we always knew that because it's uh, in our account. Yeah, well, it's nice to introduce people with enthusiasm. I'm trying to keep the camera on the TV this time. <laughs> Sorry. And I hope you like our video review so far. We done, we're going to be doing Did you mention more. what game we're reviewing? Oh, we're reviewing Toy Story 2. Which is which is one of really good games. I oh, I like this game. This is basically follows the story of um, Toy Story Two. I uh hope -huh, you're a bit that high. Yeah. And then in this game, there's 15 levels, and the idea is to get five tokens in each level. By doing various things, by giving money to the pig ham or Damn. killing bosses, or you play as Buzz Lightyear in this game. Yeah. Got movie viewer memory card. I can't see how the hell are you supposed to access anything with a memory card, but oh well. Start a new game. We're gonna start a game. We start in in Andy's house, obviously. Yeah. And obviously you get more go on. Yeah, it's generally an easy game to play. He has two You see get if you see video uh, clips of movie which is good. Yeah, let's get this if because most people have probably already seen the movie. So this is generally mm. the game. Yeah, Buzz has two main attacks. He can shoot with his laser, or he can spin his shields around and do a spin attack. Okay, we're at the first level. So you press X real try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I actually had the PS1 version of this game. I mean the uh PC version, which is actually the same, but it's like the controls, obviously. You know, I said there's five main things you have to do in each level. You have to pay someone money to get a token, you have to find a token by solving the puzzle, a third one by killing the boss, the fourth one is usually done by finding five items, like five sheep in this level, or five of the army men, soldiers, or depends on whatever you're in, fairies. Uh, and it, you're not... Sorry. And the fifth one's usually a time limit thing, like find five spanners in one minute. You jump up these thing. boxes and it generally gives you tips. Yeah. you got all your old... Yeah, graphics is pretty shabby though, to be honest. But that's It's a PlayStation PS 1 game. Yeah, but all PS1 games are pretty sh has pretty sh crappy graphics. At the t you have to consider what time it was yeah. though. At this time it's very good. Press the L1 button to activate the view and... And here you've got to shoot the size of the cops to get out. Yeah, this game's good because it's got a good variety, a variety of puzzles, you know, collecting things, racing. Yeah, it's a very, very variety game. Well, no, I think it's too short, you've only got 15 levels. Okay, technically, there's only um, about 10 levels. And, uh, technically, there's 9 levels because the other 6 are boss battles, so. You can access the whole house near enough. Yeah, you, you can explore around. Or you do have limitations. Of course, Rex basically tells you where how to get a token at each level. Yeah, huh? Look up there is the boss which you have to fight in the level. And obviously you have to get you need to have to, you have to get so many to get to the next level. Like here you need to get two. Now then, one problem I have is he's so slow climbing there. Yeah. Boss can be slow in this game, it's the only problem. And sometimes the camera can be a bit, well, effed up in, in this game, but yeah, gameplay is generally fun. You ain't got to push out, I just only to get a sheep at the top. To get the boss, you can jump on the box and fight him. I know what you have to do. Oh, there's a lot of like platform jumping around, like jumping platform to platform and swinging from poles and. You know, oh, all that. Darn it, I missed. Oh well. It's only sheep. <laughs> and there's the boss. You can do them in the order. You can get the boss first, or 
I personally looked in the boss first because I know I'd find it easy to get the boss over and down at the start of the level. It's probably just way too ties out and shoot, shoot him in the back. Like so. Of course, you can't hit him while he's moving. So. It's generally an easy ga like game. Yeah. It's very easy. Oh, you don't have to hit him in the back. Of course, the battery that just disappears indicates your life, doesn't it? Yeah. And you can pick up special things that make your shooting attack stronger. You can also charge up your laser. Yeah, by holding down the button, but I can be very time consuming, so I wouldn't really recommend it unless you've got plenty of free time to attack. I think the game could have been a bit longer, though, personally. Yeah, the game could have come with being longer, but it's still very, very. And I reckon sometimes the task where you have to collect five items are a bit too hard because sometimes they're like in really awkward places to get and sometimes it's not really worth the hassle collecting them all. And the problem with this thing is if you die, you start from the last like, save and there's point. The boss. And there's your token. Yes, yeah, so sometimes you have to get yeah, let's hit one to get to the next level. Don't do what I've done a couple of times, done it and then walked off without collecting the token. You can either carry on with that level or exit and exit whenever you feel free, whenever you please. Can we just show the next level? Yeah. Yeah, the gen there's generally um, about 15 levels. Yeah, it's 15. Well, nine actually. There's nine actual levels with. Um, there's five tokens per level. Yeah. But altogether, there's 50 tokens. So the game is pretty short, so. Why did I say save? I do not know. Anyway, um, uh, you only need one token really. Only for the first level. To move on to the second level. If the third level, you have to have three all together. To save me. I couldn't call myself his friend. If I weren't willing to do the same. Cut scenes, of course. True to the movie. I'm packing you I think the good thing is this one does actually follow the movie in a way. Just in case. Like you have like this. This level is like the guard, and then you have like. The Altoid Barn level, the construction site level, the elevator level. Right, you know, you have all the levels of the game. Right you also have the airport yes, levels, you know. You know, areas that's mainly featured in the film. I mean, you've probably seen a couple of scenes in thousand times, so let's just move on. I think this is much better than the, the original PS1, uh, Toy Story 1 anyway. Toy Story 1 and Mega Drive, that was pretty good, you can't deny that. Yeah. It's why I need to do generally the same thing, find five enemies, get big tokens, defeat a boss. Whatever it is you want to do really. But to get to the next level you have to get three tokens. You can't kill that thing by the way. Yeah, I know you can't kill that. You have to stand from the ground when you get to him. Too late, probably quick. And then once you stand on the ground, you can pick them up. Sometimes it's not really worth the bother. And of course, in this one, you have a race as well with um, the car, RC car. That can be very hard because you have to wait. Another thing about this game is you can pick up things like speed boots and glides, gliding boots and slingshots. I mean, um, catapulting thing, weapon dish launcher, and yeah, they always have weapons to use. So you're not, you're not, you're not just using shooting all the time. Mm -hmm. I said the only thing I disagree with this game is the fact that getting five of the, getting the five items in each level can be very tedious, take a lot of time. That's why most of them don't really bother then. Come up now. Got him. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do. Bye, guys. See you, everyone. See you next preview.